My name's Keith Lawrence. Uh, I'm a DJ slash producer. I've been DJing for ooh, from about 85 up until now. I got into music from when I was about five, really. Um, I'm a Brixton resident, uh, born and bred like, you know, my parents are like the first generation. Well, my mum and dad never really got it together. I grew up with my mum and gran on Cumbermere Road there, Stockwell. My father was a sound system operator in the, in the area. Uh, from like hearing from his peers, he played a sound called Jim Daddy that used to be up on Acre Lane. I used to play, that came from Acre Lane, I should say. And he used to play the sound. He himself was a, a sound man from Jamaica before he came over and got his tutelage from Count Machuki, who was uh, basically one of the guys who was you know, influential and in whole setting up a reggae music, basically. Just being an avid fan for reggae, fiending for it anywhere I can at that time. You didn't really have it. It wasn't widely available as it is now. Um, it would be like, you know, specialist shows like David Rodigan, Tony Williams, Steve Barnard before them on a Sunday afternoon, and even John Peel on Radio 1. He used to play a little portion of reggae amidst his indie and such. And, um... I was, yeah, I was just a fiend for it, basically. A radio cassette recorder, pressing it, like, you know, holding the area up, trying to get DBC from West London at all times of night, trying to take the, the sound tapes that they used to play. My name didn't really come about, I would say, until I started doing the, the community radio thing. And, um, that's, yeah, that's how I would uh, like to think people would know the name from, from being on Power Jam. 10 years. Initially started on phase one, which was another station that was uh, set up around here in Brixton by a guy called Mendoza and also spawned the likes of Fabio and Groove Rider and Commander B at the time. And that's when I set up um, Music Ed Records, my record label in 2003. You know what? Sometimes when I'm traveling around, I see a lot of the same things happening, man. And the first release was with a guy called Maestro, who's uh, part of a, I don't know if he's still part of the, the Natural Born Spitters, as they were called, and he used to be Kung Fu. And I liked his style and done the first single, Step by Step, everywhere, a double A side with him. And shortly after that, um, done uh, the follow up with Shawnee T, a uh, tune called uh, Music Ed Special. 2007 was the last thing I'd done, which was an instrumental EP. And um, that done well. And uh, I haven't done anything s since really on, say like for, in my own right, simply because life has taken a, a different turn in, let's say, life's road, you know. 